everybody, it's Pastor Anthony here. Um, we're going to read chapter 2 from The Biggest Story. Now, if you remember in chapter 1, God created Adam and Eve. He made a beautiful garden. Everything was good. But then Adam and Eve listened to the voice of the serpent instead of the voice of God. And they ate what God had told them not to and were thrown out of the garden and couldn't walk with him anymore there. What do you think is going to happen in chapter 2? Hmm. Look at these pictures. Any thoughts? What might be coming next? Let's find out. Sadly, things got a lot worse before they got any better. Adam and Eve had several kids, including two brothers named Cain and Abel. Abel trusted God, but Cain did not. And when God accepted Abel's gift and not Cain's, Cain got very angry, so angry, so hurt, and so jealous that he killed his brother. It was the first murder in history, but it wouldn't be the last. Wow, so after they left the garden, things just got worse, it sounds like. Things were not the way they were supposed to be. Everything fell apart after sin entered the world. Things got so bad so fast that God decided to start over. The people on earth were terribly wicked in their hearts, all the time, every day, non-stop. They didn't deserve to enjoy God's world anymore. So God took it from them. <clears throat> or, more exactly, He took them from it. He sent a flood that wiped away everyone and everything because it all had all been stained with sin. You know that's why God sent the flood in Noah's day? He sent the flood to punish everyone for their sin and to wash the earth clean again and start over. But, check it out. Well, almost everything. God saved one family on earth. One family that trusted him and believed what he said. Noah and his wife and their sons and their wives were spared. They lived for a lot of days with lots of animals in a big boat called an ark. It rained and rained. Look at that. Look at the elephants and giraffes. What a cool photo. God was going to start over with his creation. He was angry with the world that hated him. But he was still at work to save the world that he loved. That's why he rescued Noah and his family. God wanted to give his people another shot. God was going to start over with a new world, and Noah was going to be a new kind of Adam. The problem was that Noah was too much like the first Adam. It didn't take long after they got out of the boat for Noah to do some pretty bad stuff himself. He trusted God enough to build an ark when everyone laughed at him, but it turns out he could be just as foul as everybody else. Even one of Noah's sons got cursed, just like everything got cursed back in the garden. History was repeating itself. Whether it was Adam or Noah, the first world in the beginning or the second world after the flood, people just couldn't get things right. One time, a whole bunch of people got together to build a giant tower. They thought that they could build all the way up to heaven, but it must not have been all that big because God had to come down just to see it. And when God saw it, he was not pleased. Everyone was working together, which is okay, but they weren't working for God, and that was not okay. They were trying to show how smart and impressive they could be all on their own. They thought they didn't need God, so God mixed up all their languages and scattered the people all over the place. Things were still not going well in the world God had made. Thankfully, God was still not done saving his people. And chapter 3 will be next time. Think about that. God saved Noah and his family when he flooded the whole world. And what happened? People continued to be ungrateful to God not following God, not honoring God. 
I wonder how God's going to save them. Do you have any ideas? Love you, miss you, and Lord willing to see you next time.